Um, all right. Uh, we're Salaryman. My name's Tom. This is Renee. We're from Sydney, Australia. We're an indie rock band, I guess. And here we are in Austin, Texas for our first South by Southwest. And, uh, yeah, how has it been so far? It's been uh, amazing. Uh, I have never had so much barbecue in my life. Um, I think I need a salad <laughs> right, right about now. But, no, it's been so good. We don't have enough hours in the day to fit in all the awesome stuff that's happening here. So it's really cool to like see a city as well that's so like based around the arts. So we're yeah. we're absolutely loving it. Awesome! I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, have you liked the barbecue? I yeah, love barbecue. <laughs> yeah, we we tried one place, Iron Ironworks barbecue, I think. Yeah. That was really good, but we're going to try a couple of others yeah. still. Got to go to Terry Black's. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's really good. So, yeah, we've been smashing the tacos as well. No shortage of those. A lot of late night pizza. We've, we've pretty much been out all three nights we've been here and waking up at midday. So <laughs> the rest of the band are actually still at home, like recovering. So nice. we got up early to do this. <laughs> Um, well, it's just great to, oh, I'll reinstate the question. Yeah. Uh, what we want to get out of South by this year is, I don't know, it's great to just meet other artists yeah. in another country for starters, but um, also we're looking to branch out of Sydney, Australia, so we'd love to meet up with some, I don't know, label reps yeah. or overseas booking agents, and that's the perfect place to do it, so. Yeah. Lots of networking. Plenty and, of networking. Yeah. We're looking at everyone's Everyone's uh, our language, badge. Trying to see, oh, is this person important? No, nah, move along. It's kind of gross, but yeah. you got to do it. There's, <laughs> there's just not enough time to fit it all in. So we're uh, perfecting the art of uh, shameless self-promotion. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm wearing our, <laughs> our salary men shirt. I like it. So um, a Japanese font actually makes me think... Um, I had a, a supervisor once when I was an intern who told me to like not work too hard. Like don't yeah. show them what you should do. Like, yeah. Speaking like a Japanese salary man. Yeah. So um, I mean, is that like the ethos of your band, or like how did you really, how did you come to this this name then? Yeah, like it's definitely a Japanese reference. Yeah. It comes from well, yeah, the whole culture of working way too hard, which I think everyone does. In Australia, we're a bit more laid back, but um, we're still work. Everyone's working too. Yeah. There's no time to stop and just enjoy life. So, yeah. and that's like part of the name as well is trying to balance like being creative and being in a band with like working full time is um, it's pretty hard. You don't always have enough brain power left at the end of the day. So, yeah, it's just like that that tension, I guess, between working for the man and, and trying to make it as a struggling indie artist. Yeah. We actually cover um, Dolly Parton's 9 to 5 as well, so that's kind of linking into that whole yeah. whole thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I, I listen to a lot of your stuff, and um, everything is like, it just feels like summer to oh. me. Um, is that intentional? Like, what, what kind of inspiration... You know, do you take into your music? And I, I think it was like your most recent video that was literally something about like summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what? Um, yeah. What is what inspires your your sound? And um, yeah, like I said, is it like intentional to make you just feel like summer vacation? Um, what inspires our sound to make us sound summery? Um, yeah. Our most recent single, Summer, Summer's Coming, that's definitely intentional. Yeah. It was spring, early spring in Sydney, and, yeah. like, you know, the smell of the flowers were coming in. It was a nice day, and I was like, oh, my God, I love this part of the year. So yeah. that was, like, an exciting a song written about, obviously, summer yeah. and the excitement that comes with it, you know, yeah. all the partying and the nice weather. Summer's coming, I can't hardly wait. Um, as 
for our other songs. I don't think it's intentional. It's just something that comes out of us, I guess. Like It's like that whole happy, sad, indie thing, right? Yeah. Like the, the chords are usually pretty, they're quite nice and they're quite uplifting, but a lot of the time the lyrics probably don't match yeah. that. Um, it's like, a, I guess it's a way of, I'm glad that that's what comes across because it's a way of like taking problems and just making them a little bit nicer, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. And we, I don't know, we love a lot of like 60s yeah. bands, like the Beach Boys and the Beatles. And yeah. I don't know, like the Doors. I don't know if that whole, obviously Beatles are British, but that whole West Coast kind yeah. of thing comes into it. Some people have said that to us, which is, which is kind We've of cool, I We've been compared to West Coast as well. Yeah. It's so good. Um, but yeah, like... Maybe, maybe jangly guitars. Yeah, and, very jangly guitars. Yeah. That's definitely it. And Australia, even in winter, it's, it's pretty damn sunny. So... <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's the Texas of the Southern Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I was actually going to ask you about that, kind of, um, I wanted to compare Baby City to Austin. Uh Uh-huh. Because I feel like everybody's from Sydney, right? Yep. Nobody's from Austin, right? Like, everybody moves here. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I mean, I'm from, like, here. Yeah. But for the most part, if you ask people if they're from here, they're not. Yeah. Um, Is it like that in Sydney? Well, like everybody just moves there for, for the music or for the arts. Um, I would say people move to Melbourne for the arts. Yeah. Sydney is like our unofficial capital city and it's, it's really beautiful. It's got, well, I think it's got the biggest population out of like all the capital kind of cities. But um, a lot of people just grow up there and then I find they move away for the arts, right? Yeah. Like. Aussies go to LA, they go to, even to Melbourne, shamelessly, yes, like I will admit Melbourne's got a bit of a better scene yeah, Melbourne are gonna, than Sydney. Melbourne people are going to love this. Their country, heads like, are growing as we speak. No. But yeah, there's a bit more of a, I think a bit more of an appreciation for arts yeah. down in Melbourne. Not to say there isn't in Sydney, yeah. but um, similar to Austin, it seems like a, it's a bit more based a hub around. of art and yeah. uh, culture. Yeah. <laughs> Melbourne's probably a bit more comparable in that way, yeah. but Sydney weather is amazing. Oh, yeah. beaches, Sydney's like the like, beautiful like area. Uh, There's still amazing pockets of of um, music and arts where we live in like the inner yeah. west. Um, yeah, our little area, the inner west, is kind of like a mini Austin it in is. a way. Like that's yeah. like where the weird the weirdos hang, yeah. which, is, which is us and all the music and art. Yeah. And art. So, but this is like turbo. Like it's everywhere. The nightlife's better. I can get a meal after midnight, you know, like. It's, gr- it's great that, um, I guess one thing that Sydney lacks in the way of like vibe is there's not too much outdoor yeah. dining and bars. Like there is, everything's on the street, which I really love about yeah. Austin. Um, I think it's, we could take a leaf out of your book. Absolutely. In that way, because it's just a vibe on the street. Which, absolutely. Um, we don't have in Sydney, yeah. Um, is this the only time I've been here? Yeah. It, like, no. no. Her, first, first time, time in, Austin. in Austin. Her first time in America. America. Stops, yeah. So. I haven't been, so I'm um, I'm loving it so far, and um, the weather's also really turned on for us as well. Yeah. yeah. It was very cold this morning. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Ridiculous and hot outfit. <laughs> uh, so what? What made you guys want to come to South Pride? Uh, I mean, I like I said, I've lived here my whole life, so it's been something that you know it's always happened. Yeah. But you know, it, it's obviously a very international. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? What about it makes you be like, I want to go all the way to the other side of the world and and try my hand and whatever. It's um, so. Yeah, I mean, the main reason we wanted to come all the way over to Austin is uh, there's pretty much nothing comparable. Like, there's, say, Great Escape in England or we don't have anything at home that's, like, such a big street kind of music festival vibe. We don't have anything. This is, like, a congregation of... I think this is the biggest music festival of its kind in the world. There's people from everywhere, like, Asia, Europe everyone's coming together and there's really no other opportunity like this to meet as many people as possible in the one area who could have an impact on your 
on your trajectory. Like Australia is, it's pretty small, and obviously that has its has its um, pros, but it also has its cons. And um, it's great to get out here and meet not only industry people but like other artists and just hang out with with like-minded people and and yeah see where it can take us we didn't come with expectations per se we're just seeing what happens and if we get like some some interest from either artists you know hey you want to tour with us or a label hey you know would you like to release music like we're we're an open book we're super keen to see anything that comes out of it so yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well like it's also cool to come to austin which because we love psych rock so yeah. there's a bit of the psych rock scene here yeah. which is cool we um checked out 13th floor i think that was a bar and owned by one of the black angels we saw the black angels last, last night. night that was really cool super cool so um yeah there seems like a nice appreciation for like yeah. guitar based uh yeah. bands like us over here so it's nice to perform in a, a place where we're really valued. Yeah. <laughs> not just. It sounds like I'm shitting on Australia. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. No, I'll show you straight. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I, one of your songs, Young Guns, um, while we're on the subject of Texas. Yeah. Um, you know, you said it was inspired by the Big Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Um, personally, I'm surprised at that. Know, made it all the way to Australia. Yeah. Um, because that's like an everyday yeah. thing. I know. Yeah. I'm kind of, you know, just surprised that it was that it was new to yeah. to people inspire you. Yeah. Um, I guess what what was it about that that really made you feel like I have to put this down, you know, on paper? Yeah. And is that, I mean, obviously that's not something that you guys deal with. Yeah. yeah it is. You know, it's like one shooting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but, yeah, what, what was it about that that really made you be like, I have to take this event and not immortalize it because that's doing yeah. that on its own, but, you know, I have to fight it back. I have to get my yeah. tools now. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Uvalde school shooting i don't know like we just saw it on the news it was very and... big news actually like in australia like it social media now there's a, a lot more um attention given to things that previously might not have made their way over here so we yeah i mean younger people predominantly get their news from from social media and it and it was everywhere yeah I, um i guess just as an australian it's just such a foreign thing to us to even conceive that something like that can happen yeah. in a in a school like yeah and it, like you said it's it's a pretty common occurrence so i don't know it for me and then it, it's obviously obviously such a complex issue it's not so yeah remove the gun problem solved it's obviously mental health issues yeah. you know poverty yeah like uh bullying yeah There's so many things involved um but like one thing that I saw, just like the older male politicians just kind of trivializing the yeah. whole thing, like, oh well, he got in through through an unlocked door. Let's blame the unlocked yeah. door. And I'm just, to me, I'm like, that's insane. <laughs> like, yeah, I think like to blame it on an unlocked door, like, is just yeah. sidestepping the issue, humong- like, hugely. Yeah. But, um, but then I know like. Uh, gun culture is a huge part of America and there's so many safe yeah. sensible gun owners so I know there's definitely two sides of the story We, it was just a bit of inspiration yeah. to just see you know unfortunately these young kids yeah. being murdered so I don't know I just wrote that line you know tonight thank god that I'm alive yeah. tonight it's just just you could be gone, you could be one gone minute, in two seconds you know, uh, uh yeah, it's just, I guess, more broadly, the issue of, um, we had some friends pass away recently, too, so it's just a bit of, like, gratitude to just yeah. being alive as well. Yep. But, um, yeah, I found it found it to be just a, quite an interesting subject to, to write about, and it was quite inspiring, which is kind of messed up in a way, but, um, 
yeah, that kind of stuff is just so foreign to yeah. to Australians. So yeah, it's I don't know, and it unfortunately it doesn't seem like there's an easy no. fix for it. So I don't, I don't know what the latest is in terms of um, legislation and whatnot over here. Yeah. So yeah, it's our perspective from Australia just observing a pretty crazy event to us. Yeah. Texas, yeah, definitely every second person's got a gun like, <laughs> on their hip or something. And funnily enough, at the uh, Texas barbecue place, it said, please, what was it? Conceal your gun. Conceal your gun before, before entering. <laughs> and that's just such a wild thing for yeah. us to just read, which is obviously pretty normal over here. Um, we were in Houston for a stopover last year, and I was actually talking to an Uber driver. Like, I swear Houston had an American flag every second car yard and I haven't seen that here so I was like oh it doesn't seem like there's as much patriotism in Austin I don't know like that was just a something I really noticed about Houston versus here so I don't know it seems like this is a bit more of a kind of lefty artsy liberal vibe which um I didn't personally know that much like I just thought oh, Texas it's all the same kind of thing so yeah that was one that's our preconceived ideas I guess in Australia everyone thinks we ride on kangaroos <laughs> and there's just like koala bears in every tree yeah um, I think we drink a lot but that's correct <laughs> so <laughs> yeah what's I don't know what what's a pre yeah, preconceived, what's a preconceived idea, idea, idea of Australia for you um, I mean, it's like, you know, it says behind you, like, come and say good day. Yeah, yeah good day. Um, yep. Um, is that a thing that you, like, actually say on the regular? Um, it's like a country it's thing. It's a country like thing. A, yeah. But we abbreviate literally everything. And, like, we abbreviate abbreviations. Like, I'll give you an example. We have something called an RSL in Sydney, which is a return servicemen leagues club. We call it the Ari. <laughs> or the, the bowling the club becomes the bowler. Yeah. And you chuck an O at the end of Anything. Tomo, Davo, Stevo. Or an A, Dazza, Dazza. Shazza. <laughs> yeah. Just stupid Stupid abbreviations. Things. We all do it. Or like, I don't know becomes don't know. Yeah. You know, just random yeah, stuff I'm like that. I'm not that. sure. Are we talking too fast? Can you understand <laughs> everything you're saying? I was saying some stuff in the Hilton showcase we did yesterday. I'm like, do people understand our accents? Because I've heard it can be hard yeah. to um, understand. Yeah. All right. I haven't had any. Okay, that's okay. good. That's good. Um, that actually brings me to my last, my last question. So I've wanted to go to Australia literally my entire life. Yeah. Um, my favorite book when I was like three years old was called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Oh. I don't know if you have that book there. So, um, but bad things happen to Alexander like all day long. Right. Like you know, his siblings get a bunch of good shoes, he gets crappy shoes, like he gets in trouble for stuff, like he doesn't have a good lunch at school. Um, and every time something bad happens, he says, I think I'll move to Australia. Right. <laughs> Um, and I just want to know if you think that Alexander was correct. Look, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think because we're such a new country, our, yeah. our laws were written, you know, what? Recently. I can't do maths. Fairly recently. So it's kind of a progressive yeah. uh, 
view of the world. Like our working hours, I think, are pretty damn good, which yeah. is which is great because I know in the US, I used to be in the in the film uh, world, just as like a driver basically, and we do ten hour days over there, which I thought was crazy. But I'm um, over here. Apparently, it's much yeah. much longer, um, and. Yeah, I don't know if the wages are as good. I'm not sure when, when you compare it, but um, it's a pretty good place to yeah. live in, in terms it of is. Uh, what's, what's, what's more, like, like cost of living and stuff. Yeah. I mean, recently it's kind of gone crazy, but um, it's a nice Yeah, it has place. everywhere. It's, it's nice. And like, Especially like the beaches. Yeah. It's just the so nice cool. to wander down and go for a swim in the afternoon. It's just really nice yeah. people are pretty friendly yeah um yeah <laughs> um i'm not sure when does this yeah when, when does, does this it air? Air? um i'm gonna well i'm going to edit it and uh -huh. post it probably tonight okay, okay. so um and then i was playing the clip from it on my show okay. awesome okay what can people even come see us? I think yeah. you, need, you need a thing to come see us, right? Are all of your showcases? They are. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't think it will make sense to talk about the shows that we have coming up. Yeah, yeah. you can definitely talk about the shows. People are going to watch it that have this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she knows all that info. I know all that. I know you're playing here on Thursday. Yeah, we are. Um, so tomorrow night... Uh, Wednesday, sorry, what well, Wednesday the 15th of March, we are at the drafting room, just which is road. just up the road. We're playing at 8 p.m. On Thursday, we are right here uh, at Australia House, 1.30 p.m., so nice little day set. And then our final show is at Las Perlas, and we're playing at midnight on Friday, Friday the 17th. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Yeah.